So you start with your stencil, and then you take some colors of paint right on your fingers, and you put it in there. Now, we know the law of nature that wet stuff runs. So there's a chance that some things are going to run under this because this is all really, really wet. And you also know about color mixing. I'm staying right in here with BFFs so because this is all wet and mixing. But by staying with BFFs, I just get all sorts of interesting colors. Now, this is what's going to show up on the paper. But I'm now also going to paint right on the stencil. If your fingers get loaded with a lot of paint on them, you may have to kind of wipe them off before you go into a frenemy color so that you don't make mud. And now I'm just going to come over here on this. If I was worried about getting paint there, which I'm not, if I had put a piece, an extra piece of paper there, that would have masked that off. And you'll notice I'm being very, very generous with the paint that I'm putting on here because I like how it feels. And it will also allow me to get multiple prints here. So I got all sorts of stuff. Let's see. Now remember I said if they mix, you can get some ugly colors. Well, I don't like mud colors. Um, but you can go and if you dab stuff on top, you can get those colors there without actually mixing them. So you can kind of walk that line. So when I lift this up, I've got this great loose, and this is very thick paint, so it's going to have texture when it dries. But I've got all this wonderful juicy paint right on here. So I'm just going to put that down, and I'm going to kind of walk my fingers around. You can see the paint squish out. Lots of good paint. Now to get the stuff in the middle, I've got paint on my hands. So if I want to keep that pretty and white, I'm going to grab another piece of paper, or deli paper here, and I'm just going to go over it like this. And what I'm going to get is the paint from right around those edges, right on my deli paper. And so now you can get a beautiful outline that would be very hard if you were actually trying to stencil that paint the traditional way. That's another benefit of being so juicy with the paint, is you get more of those.